Hello everyone, I'm going to be drawing my character and I'm also going to be explaining some of their story, where did they come from, how did I come up with this design. So a guy's story begins in the medieval ages, about 1400s, the middle of that. This is as far back as their memory can remember and they met a person called Rouge. If I do a drawing of Rouge, I would explain his part of the story, but for now it's just Guy. Guy, back in the 1400s, didn't know how to speak English, they didn't understand it very well, but they did understand tones of voice, like physical actions, like crying. They understood that, and they don't know why, but they would very much be a very sympathetic person who loved to help others and didn't like it when people cried. Rouge was their first quote-unquote friend, and... Uh, Rouge was an incredibly patient person who would listen to Guy even though they didn't understand what the heck they were saying. But going a few years later, Rouge had started a war between two kingdoms by spreading false rumors about the other two planning to attack each other. Guy soon realized this was not okay and it was wrong. People were getting hurt because of this. And to put a stop to Rouge, Guy had to get rid of him, even if it hurt. Fast forward another few, maybe hundred years, Guy ran into someone named Altera in a lab. Altera was around 14 and was a assistant to their parents who were kind of the owners of this lab that Guy was kidnapped into. Guy understood some words but didn't know how to directly speak. But they stayed friendly because they knew they just felt like they needed to. They had to stay happy or they knew something bad might happen to them. After about a few months, actually, Altera decided, I don't know why I have to save this one because they're just really innocent and they really want to help people. And we're taking advantage of that. So Altera took like the keys and unlocked Guy and Guy ran off and Altera followed. Altera eventually got into a spaceship that Guy was a part of and well stowed away. Guy didn't seem to mind when they figured it out. They actually became very close friends for as long as they live. Fast forward about 10-15 years they were around a kingdom and the there was a neighboring kingdom that they visited, and that is where Guy met the love of their life, Rosie. Rosie was a very beautiful lady, and she was very sad because she didn't really have any freedom in her life. No one treated her like she had feelings. They treated her like an item that people would have to bow down to because she was a royal. Guy never understood why people wouldn't treat each other equally. So Guy would treat everyone equally, even if they were disabled, girl, male, non-binary. They didn't care who you were. They would treat you equally. And that's what Rosie admired the most. Guy was different from the rest of the kingdom and would treat everyone friendly and nice. Guy actually sneaked into the royal guard and became her little, uh, squire, kind of. Like, her bodyguard. Guy wouldn't do much except just try to bring a smile to Rosie's face every day. And Rosie would... Her mental health went up very much, and she was laughing and smiling a lot more. Her parents, however, did not like the fact she was hanging out with this weird little void dude. After about maybe one or two years of Guy helping Rosie's mental state just get better, her father decided to send Guy to the other kingdom. And Rosie was completely devastated as this was kind of her only friend and someone she could be herself around. But as true love stories go, Guy decided to just show up at her window about a week later waving, Hi, I'm here now. Uh, you want to run away with me, basically? <laughs> Rosie, seeing this is her only friend and didn't like where she was, 
agreed and kind of just followed Guy and they were married about four years later. Altera was able to attend their wedding because no one else did because Guy didn't have any family and Rosie didn't want her family to find her. So it was kind of a very small wedding. But either way, Rosie and Guy were incredibly happy to be married. Guy around this time learned how to say, I love you. And they also learned how to say, thank you. Sadly, another about maybe 20, 10 years later, Rosie sadly passed away due to crossfire in a war. The very small town they were living in, a war had started and the two sides had decided to meet at this tiny town. And while Rosie was trying to escape with Guy, she died, sadly. Guy was holding both of their kids, both Aaron and Daisy. Daisy was too young to remember this. Aaron will get small flashbacks and not understand where it came from. Fast forward a little while later, maybe about five years, Guy ran into Aruna, who was a emperor, and she was a bit of a tyrant. After a little while of Guy living around their newfound mother, she changed. She gave up her role in the emperor title and became a very kind and protective person. She was a bit uh, stern, but she very much cared for Guy as if they were their own child. Much, much later, after living with Aruna for a long time, Guy had acquired a brother. Last name was Koda. Koda kind of was a controller of dreams kind of guy. And he and Guy would get along very well. They were very close. But one day, the Baku brothers, which were apparently Koda's biological brothers, one was the Nightmare Baku and the other was the Dream Baku. Koda was the mediator of these two. And the Nightmare Baku didn't get along with Guy at all. They kind of hated each other. One day, the Nightmare Baku controlled Koda and kind of murdered a few people. Guy, wanting to be a peaceful person, didn't like this. They weren't a pacifist, I'll make that clear, but they didn't like it when people were hurt or killed unless they really had to be. During this fight, Guy felt like they lost everything because Guy didn't know the Baku was controlling Koda and Koda said some things and Guy's just like, I don't want to be your brother anymore. This spiraled out of control with all the grief Guy had had over the years. With Rosie dying, they had to kill their best friend Rouge. It spiraled out of control and Guy, by their own hand, decided to end it all. I'm sure the people who made Aruna and Koda would love to share their, their characters' stories, but they are not my characters, so I will not be explaining them in this video. But I hope you'd enjoyed the speed paint and the story of Guy. Now I'll tell you all the details. How did I make this character? What made them themselves? So in short, Guy was actually a Roblox avatar I had made and I really liked the design. And it, I'm like, I'm probably only going to play this character one or two times in a roleplay. And now they're like my main character. They're my persona that I use for about everything now. Their nickname is like Black Hole Kid. That kind of stuff. The artsy void kid. And, well, their name is Guy because of a funny story. Is I actually couldn't think of a name. And I'm like, what if it's just that guy? Because no one knew their name. They would just go, hey, it's that guy over there. Their original design was very different. But they did keep the void head. They did not have freckles. They didn't have eyebrows or anything. They did keep the void head. They didn't have a crown. They had some kind of armor, I guess, and a cape. And they were actually an Undertale character. I am very happy how Guy has ended up, and I love their story. It's very in detail. It would be very sad. It would catch your heartstrings. Guy went through a lot of troubles and fears. Some of these fears were trypophobia, fear of the dark. They feared losing loved ones very much. They never wanted to hurt their friends or family. The whole point of the character was that they just couldn't move on from the past, and that is what my state was when I made this character. I was in a very depressive state from some personal stories that I might share if people really want me to. But in short, Guy, well, 
passing away kind of proved that my depressive phase was mostly over and I had gotten through it. Guy is very emotionally driven, and you can probably tell from how they were made and what their story is. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I had having tears in my eyes saying some of this. <laughs> but I hope you have a good day, and thank you really for watching. It means a lot to me.